Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and it was a great day slash evening for our Flyers last night out in Edmonton, Alberta, as they were able to beat the Edmonton Oilers five to three in that game on an absolute beautiful Jeruz goal. It was obviously a wraparound goal that he was able to score, but the best goal of this game. The highlight real play of this game has to be that Cam Atkinson kick it through his own legs and then nail the shot. The second Atkinson goal was exactly what the TNT broadcast said afterward. I believe it was Rick Tockett that highlighted it, that that's just a draining goal. That's a goal that any not any goaltender really in the NHL level should be able to close his pads and be able to block off the five hole. Mike Smith, for example, would have made that save, in my opinion, the starting goaltender, because Miko Koskinen's a backup since coming over and a guy that got paid too quickly since coming over for a reason <clears throat> because they jumped, excuse me, on his hot start. And since then, people have found his weaknesses to just label him as just a straight up backup and not really a 1B. But he's stepped up in terms of being good enough for them to, of course, get to 5-0 and at that point. The Flyers were able to find his weaknesses and expose him a little bit more in this game, which is exactly what was kind of able to help them over the top because, of course, before the second Cam Atkinson goal, it was a 3-3 game when um, Zach Hyman was able to tie it up for the Oilers and then Atkinson's able to come down. Um, nice play by Broussard and Braun to get it up the ice, but he's able to come down get it, and then really just um, put one in that you shouldn't be able to really blast past the goaltender there if the goaltender <clears throat> was able to actually close down his five hole, one of the most pivotal areas. They, of course, teach you to close down a little bit quicker. And people that watch my channel know me. I typically try to be as nice as possible when it comes to, I, I really like talking about goalies, but when it comes to this game, I think you have to put the brunt of the blame, if you're an Oilers fan, on Miko Koskinen, because that goal through the five hole just seemed to drain the Oilers at that point. And once that went in in the third, the Flyers, yes, they beat them in the shot total by three, but that's because at the end of the game, the Oilers started really pushing the pressure to try to get that comeback goal. And that's why the shot total got up higher. Carter Hart in the last couple minutes made some really pivotal key saves in order to keep this game exactly where we want it. And then Sean Couturier was, of course, able to get the empty net that Braun got another assist, and then G was able to get an assist on as well. So the shot total is a little deceiving for them having three more than us because after that Atkinson goal, I thought the Flyers really kind of did up until the last couple minutes when you have the team push down one goal to obviously try to even it up. I thought they did play the better game. <clears throat> up to that point, it was really an even game of just offense, 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 and then you had those mix-in saves more so. You had mixed-in good saves when it came to Carter's end, like he had a couple in front of the net there early on. He had the great early one on McDavid, and then you had some later going side to side. Koskinen didn't mix that in as much, which is why I think the big culprit for why the, the Flyers were able to win this game was the other team's goaltending because that is emotionally draining. The, the Rick Tocca talked about it. He was just a coach who had very good goaltending in Arizona, so he didn't get used to having emotionally draining goaltending. But when it happens, then that's exactly what happened. You let in a goal like that, your team just goes, ah. And then you don't want to have that reaction, but it's just kind of the natural human reaction. It seemed like the Oilers were not the same team after that goal went in until the final push in the game. And that's a lot of credit due to our Flyers, too, for being able to kind of take advantage of seeing that that goal was not one you want to allow in and kind of just come at them, play a more concise <clears throat> defensive game, pressure them a little bit more because they're kind of pushing to try to get that one back quickly because they know it should still be an even game at threes. So they pushed hard in the end. Carter Hart was huge in the end of the game and was really good throughout the game, honestly. He didn't play bad in this game at all. It was his first really successful game. He's able to walk out with a win, make some key saves early on on McDavid and others that led to the Flyers being able to even come out and also have, um by the end of this, a lead. And then you had Nate Thompson get that crazy goal in front of the net that Miko Koskinen also turned over, saving the best for last. That was the highlight reel, um, not top 10 play of the game where he, he just needs to stay in the net. Koskinen can't play the puck. If you're an Oilers fan, he just needs to stay in there. If you're a Flyers fan and we play Edmonton, you want him to come out of the net 
we want him to come out of the net as much as possible because that'll probably happen more. But when it comes to this game, I thought it was a great offensive game played by the Flyers. I thought it was a defensive game that got better as time went on, especially taking advantage of knowing that they kind of got deflated by that goal and being able to pressure with the defense accordingly. That was really smart by, <clears throat> by the team, excuse me. And then, of course, you close out. You were able to defend off the rush. Carter Hart really stepped up on the penalty kill at the end of the game, too. You're able to defend off the rush. And then Sean Couturier gets an empty net goal to seal the deal. So all around, good game for the Flyers against the Edmonton Oilers. Thank you for the help, Miko Koskinen. This has been a reaction to the Flyers and Oilers game that they were able to win 5-3. to three. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And let's go, Flyers. Keep those winning ways going. Peace out, everybody.